Welcome to a tutorial on how to focus the laser uh, for the Gray Universal here. This is part one of a two-part series of actually running a job. You'll have to do this probably every time you come in and use this machine. Um, what, this to, what this does is focuses the laser to your specific material thickness, essentially. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first things first, we're gonna wanna open up the lid. Note that this lid can be kinda heavy uh, and the, I'm gonna call them hydraulics, uh, don't work that well. So it has a tendency to slam. So just be mindful to guide it the entire way uh, and make sure that it's in the locked position at the top here uh, so it doesn't close on you while you're working the machine. Um, the next step would be to press the Z button here. Um, so it'll change your user interface. Uh, sometimes this little laser head will like bounce over here and bounce back when you do that. It didn't do it for me. It also isn't showing everything that it's supposed to be showing right now. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and press select real quick. No, nope, that doesn't do it. No, nope, that doesn't do it. Sometimes, there we go. So you should be seeing uh, this uh, user interface now. Um, and then I'm going to press select so that we are on the Z position uh, and it should be blinking on this like first decimal point here. Uh, we're gonna consider the first decimal point a macro adjustment and the, the smaller one a micro adjustment. Uh, you'll hear me talk about that a little bit more in a second. Uh, now that you're in the Z, uh, uh, like the Z positioning process, if you will, uh, it's time to grab your material. So I'm gonna grab this balsa wood over here and I'm gonna place it in the top left-hand corner of your machine. Uh, it's good to just do that for all your material. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back over to our controls and then I'm gonna use this directional pad here to shift the laser head over top of the area that I'm gonna be laser cutting. So it moves kind of slow, so bear with me. That looks good for me. Um, next step is to grab our focusing tool, which exists over here in this little green bin. Uh, we 3D printed this in the lab. A student worker 3D modeled this one. You'll see the actual ones in the other uh, laser cutters, but we're gonna be using this one for this one. Uh, note that uh, this uh, little like pronged part here has a flat side at the top. Um, and it has a little shoulder. I don't know if we can see it that well in this camera. Um, so essentially, we're gonna wanna take this flat side and make sure that it's flush up against the side of the laser carriage here. And then we're gonna move the laser bed up so that it meets this shoulder here, this little sloped area. Uh, and then it will shift over this thing ever so slightly. And I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. So. I'm gonna place this on our material like so, and then I'm gonna push it up against the laser carriage so it looks completely flush. Note, if it's uh, if the bed's raised up too high in the beginning, this won't be flush. You're gonna need to drop your laser bed down using your up and down directionals on the interface. So this looks good to start out with. Um, let me see if I can get a better angle here. So if we look here, our slope section is about here, and we're gonna wanna raise the bed now. Um, so I'm gonna move back over to this area here, and I'm gonna use our micro adjustments to bring the bed up so that it meets that uh, uh, sloped chamfer section of the focusing tool. So I'm gonna press select to move over to the micro adjustments, that second decimal point, and then I'm gonna use these up and down arrows to adjust the bed. So if I press up, it'll change that decimal point. If I move down, it'll change it also. So I'm gonna move up. Um, so I'm gonna move this camera back over here so you can see it live. So I'm gonna move it up, I'm gonna move it up, I'm gonna move it up. And 
now I'm gonna look for this little piece here to shift over slightly. And that's how I know that it's level to the top of the material. So it's starting to do it. Oh, almost there. And there we go. So now that it's leveled to the top of the material, I'm just gonna make one more micro adjustment so that it's a little bit deeper. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it back over here. Your laser is now focused to just below the surface of your uh, material. And uh, it's time to move on to the next step, which is returning the laser head back to its original position and getting out of this Z positioning uh, interface. So I'm gonna press Z here. It's gonna shift it back over. And then you're ready for part two at this point.